my grandma and grandpa. My aunt. My cousin and one of my best friends. And my uncle. My aunt. My aunt. Yeah, I have an aunt. Yes, yeah, actually my uncle. Um, my best friend's mom. My friend Lauren. My grandmother three years ago. It's my grandmother. Both of my parents had cancer, and other family members have cancer as well. My cousin passed away from cancer two years ago. My grandfather died from cancer. I've had many family members who have lost their battle with cancer. My no-no died like four years ago from cancer. I've lost both parents to cancer. My mom was just diagnosed with multiple myeloma. My nana passed away because of cancer. My grandpa passed away a couple months ago from cancer. Um, about four years ago, she was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer and she was basically told that like, she'd only have about a year to live. My grandpa actually does suffer from this disease for the last maybe five years. More recently my uncle. Four days before my second daughter was born my wife was diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. He was diagnosed with melanoma on his shoulder and uh, four years later he uh, went to the doctors for a checkup and uh, they found a mass on his diaphragm. Doctor tells him he has four months to live. Check my phone, I get a text from my mom. Grandpa's in the ICU, he's not feeling good, rush back. Then uh, about a week goes by, he's in the ICU, he uh, passed away. It makes me feel upset because people don't choose this disease and yet it becomes such a big part in their lives and they deal with it for their entire life. It makes me feel really sad because this is a disease that affects so many people each and every day and we don't have a cure for it yet. Sad, distressed, discouraged because you never really know why these things happen. You're always wondering when things bad happen to you. You're always thinking, why does it happen to me? It really affected my family actually a lot. Yeah, it was hard to see my mom like that, obviously, because I really love her, so. It was a devastating time. Well, my friend from St. Anne's, who was the head of his head stopped by my house yesterday to show me that her hair is growing back. My wife has been cured now a year later she's um, cancer free. My grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was really little. It's so nice to see her cured and and like so healthy now. Um, so Really for Life is considered a party with a purpose. Um, well it's an event where different teams get together and I mean the ultimate goal is to raise money for uh, cancer research. The goal of Relay is to uh, raise awareness and funds for cancer. I think it's very important for students to Relay because cancer is going to affect everyone. I think it's important to Relay because everybody should know what or how much people are actually affected by cancer. I relay in memory of her and to support those who are still fighting for cancer. Relaying is important to me because in the future I don't want people to have to fear this disease the way we do. To raise awareness for cancer and just make a difference in the community because cancer is something that's a major problem in this world and everyone needs to do their part to fix it. We want to show others fighting this battle that we are there for them and proud of them. As a Villanova community, we should come together and support them by relaying for them.